Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss about Mi1 as aluminum shuttering. How this shuttering named as Mi1 and what are the components of Mi1 shuttering. Also, comparison between Mi1 shuttering and conventional shuttering. And finally, the technical specifications of Mi1 shuttering. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, click the bell icon. Let's start our video. Mi1 is a construction company and it uses aluminum formwork for these shuttering purposes. Okay, this aluminum formwork is first developed in the European construction company. After that, Mi1 construction company in the 1990 started a manufacturing unit. Today, more than 30,000 square meters of formwork from Mi1 Construction Limited is used across the country. The Mi1 formwork has proven economical as well as satisfactory for overall construction environment. This Mi1 technology is most suitable for constructing large number of houses in short span of time. This aluminum formwork is very cost effective for repetitive building layouts and for above the plinth work. The system is very unique as all the components in a building including slabs, beams, walls, columns, staircases, balconies and special window hoods are of concrete and there is no need for block works or brick works. Next let us talk about components of Mi1 formwork. In this we have deck components, wall components and other components. In the deck components we have prop length, deck prop, deck panel, deck mid beam, soft length and in the wall components we have wall panel, rocker, kicker and other components internal soffit corner, external soffit corner and etc. Next we talk about procedure of Mi1 formwork means how we can proceed the construction. First uh, the construction procedure of Mi1 formwork is similar to the traditional type. Okay, The following process involved in this construction. First we have to set the wall reinforcement steel. In any construction steel is the main thing and this reinforcement steel gives support to the concrete still it reaches 50% of design strength. This steel mesh is pre-casted in factory and can be easily erected on construction site. Next we place formwork. The formwork which we use is a ready-made one, means according to the size requirements, slab, columns, beams, staircases and other structural elements, these are manufactured at the factory. And by pin and wedge system, this formwork is easily assembled at the site. And this formwork can be easily dismantled also. That's why it is very simple and easy to use. Next pouring concrete. Once the formwork is placed, freshly made concrete is poured inside the formwork to form the shape. So once the concrete gains its required strength, the formwork is dismantled from the structure and used in other sites. Okay. Next comparison. Mi1 formwork versus traditional formwork. Mi1 formwork can be easily constructed and easily removed. In the traditional formwork, it is very hard to remove formwork and requires more labor to remove this formwork. The same formwork can be used for thousand times in Mi1 formwork or aluminum formwork. The same formwork can be used more than 10 times. No need of plastering in the Mi1 formwork and need of plastering in traditional and high seismic resistant for Mi1 formwork. Also, there is no seismic or low seismic resistant for traditional formwork. Mi1 formwork takes less time in completion of formwork and in the whereas in the traditional formwork it takes a lot of time to remove and construct the formwork. Next, technical specifications. Load carrying capacity of this Mi1 formwork is 7000 to 8000 kg per square meter and steel thickness is 4 mm. Repetitions you can do minimum of 250 and maximum of 1000 and above. Cycles per month you can use it 4 to 5 times a month and materials used is aluminum alloy. Finally, it cost per square meter 100 to 120 dollar but the cost will be vary per state to state. So check your locality for uh, the standard rates and this is the end of the video. I think you have understood about Mi1 formwork and how it is done and what is the material used in the Mi1 formwork and what is aluminum formwork also. 
If you have any doubts, you can comment below. And if you like our video, please share with your friends. It is very useful for them also. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you.